Today's video is all about the HT slash Helium migration to Soul slash Solana's blockchain. Now, I'll quickly cover how the Maker apps come into play too. This will be a two part tutorial. This video shows you the steps I took, and this video should be used for educational and informational purposes only. So, no financial or investment advice is being given. But as always, if you're here, you're interested. So, let's get into it. Now, since the Helium blockchain is migrating to Solana, there are some changes to existing Helium wallets and applications for HT holders to be aware of. So, in this video, I'm going to show you what those things are and show you the steps that I took to get, you know, all of those steps done. Now, the Helium network's move to the Solana blockchain will result in all hotspots automatically becoming Solana NFTs. Yay, right? Which, along with Helium tokens, can be viewed in the Helium wallet app. Now, since the original Helium app will be stripped of functionality in phases, so not all at once, but in segments, and the transactions are being moved to the Helium wallet app and hotspot maintenance is moving to the maker apps, there are some things that I've already done. So I'm gonna show you what those are. Now, I'll also drop the document that kind of got me through this information, where I got all of my information from, just in case you're a reading, writing style learner, okay? Now, there are a few key things to note that will be happening behind the scenes, okay? So, hotspots will move to the new Solana blockchain, specifically performing off-chain proof of coverage. Maker will push a fleet-wide update to all their hotspots, and that's going to switch a hotspot from receiving challenges from validators to automatically beaconing by themselves every six hours, and then they'll send the results to an off-chain oracle. Maker must push this mandatory update to their fleet of hotspots. Failure to do so will mean their customers, like you and I, will cease to mine and stop earning rewards once the blockchain migration is complete. So just like they have to have some steps that they do before everything is to complete, so do we. This is an extremely important step in the migration process that's being done on the back end. Now, if you participate in mining, chances are you already have the old Helium Hotspot app. And you need to install the new HNT Wallet app so that you can start the migration process. So this is gonna be step one. You wanna go ahead and download the Helium HNT Wallet, okay? Now the new app icon looks the same, but with different colors, and both of them are by Helium Systems Inc. These are just things that you might wanna take into consideration when you're dealing with migrations and upgrades. Um, unless it's really noted or made public, usually the app icons look similar and they're by the same developers. Now, since the app does not allow you to take screenshots for security, and you all know I love to do tutorials and walkthroughs in the format of screenshots for my own personal privacy and security, I apologize for the low quality pictures coming up. But the second thing we need to do is log into our current HNT app. When you log in, you'll see one of two screens. Migration required, all hotspot app users must upgrade to the Helium Wallet app to manage HNT, mobile, and ILT in preparation for the Solana Layer 1 migration. You will need the Helium Wallet app to migrate. Your tokens and hotspot will be safe during transfer. Or you'll get a message that says the Helium Solana migration is coming. Be prepared and export your account to Helium Wallet today. Um, if you kind of skipped over the first message, you're going to get the second one. What you're going to do if you didn't do step one and download the HNT Wallet, the Helium Wallet, go ahead and do that. You're going to see the second screen pop up. You're going to close out of there. Um, over here, you're going to click Start Migration. Okay, go back over to the HNT Hotspot app and then tap on Start Migration because you're gonna you're gonna get this screen that pops up first. You want to tap Import Wallet. Now from here, you're gonna get a screen that looks like this. Please enter a password that will be used again in the next step. I also wrote mine down just in case. Now next in the new wallet, it's gonna pop up. You're gonna enter that same password again that you just created 
in this screen and this is going to import your wallet for you automatically now go ahead and name the wallet it's similar to the MetaMask wallet where you can have multiples so you want to name it something that you're going to remember I just named mine HNT um, you want to set a pin code for this app similar to having a pin code for the old app and then when you see this screen next you know that you're all set um, if you've gotten to this part of the video go ahead and comment all set below and let me know that you've completed this part now I feel like this was a quick and easy tutorial for the HT migration specifically for those of us who are mining HT um, for those of you who are mining with my team and I but do me a favor, comment below and let me know what you think. In the next tutorial, I'm gonna show you the maker apps that are being used to maintain your hotspots. Remember, I mentioned earlier that there are a few key things to note that will be happening behind the scenes. Hotspots will move to the new Solana blockchain, specifically performing off-chain proof of coverage. And then Maker will push a fleet-wide update to all their hotspots and that is going to switch hotspots from receiving challenges from validators to automatically beaconing by themselves every six hours. And then it's going to send those results over to an off-chain oracle. So the next tutorial is going to cover the maintenance side of our hotspots. Hopefully, this was a helpful tutorial. Feel free to drop any comments below or any questions if you still need some assistance. But as always, I hope you're having an absolutely amazing morning, afternoon, or evening wherever you are in the world. And I will see you in the next video. Don't forget, the resources are in the description box.